In this tutorial, I will show you how to use better proposals. So I'll go over everything you need to know to basically collect e-signatures and to send proposals through better proposals, and also how you can collect payments through better proposals. So to do this, go and click on try it for free on the betterproposals.io website. Now you can just sign up without needing to enter any payment details, so just enter your first name, company name, email address, and password, and then click get started. After doing that, you will get to the onboarding. So how many people work at your company, for example, five to 10, and then how many of them sent proposals. And if it's just one, just click continue. And then you will get to a list of templates. So you can filter by what industry you're in. For example, if you're in marketing, you can select marketing right here and they have copyright quote, Facebook ads, email marketing, cross promotion, and a whole bunch of other ones. For example, if you do Facebook ads for a company, you could select Facebook ads from here and any other ones that you may also use, but I'll just pick one and then click continue. Then here type your company URL and they will basically grab your logo from the website. Now, if you just want to upload it yourself, just click browse for logo right there and just upload it. Then they will determine your main brand color right here from your logo. So you can just click here and then choose it from your actual logo and they will see what it's going to look like. Now the text should be white, but you can just change that later. So then click continue. And now here, what documents do you send in your business? So proposals, contracts, quotes, sign-offs, brochures, job offers, and statements of work. You can just select whichever ones you do. For example, contracts, quotes, and proposals. Now you can also create your own document type if it's not in here. So then click all done, and then you have successfully created your account. Now next, you have chosen your template and you can actually start sending the document. So to get started, you can just click send test document and then you can see how it kind of works. So first it says create new document. Who is this for? Now, since right now I haven't added any clients, you can just select yourself, but then which template do you want to use? I'll just select the Facebook ads one. Now you can also start from scratch if you'd like, then the document type, you can choose proposal, quote or contract. And then you are currently charging in euros. And is that correct? Yes or no? If not, choose your currency. Now for me it is. And then tailor the experience. So now select a customer onboarding flow. So you have the default onboarding flow and I'll show you what that looks like. So basically that they just sign and then they get to a thank you page. You can also create your own flows later. Now just click next. And now you can choose a cover for your proposal or whatever type of document you're sending. You can start from scratch, choose the one that is pre-made with the template or choose no cover. I'll just choose no cover. And then in the top right, click next. And now here you will see what it looks like. So first you have this quote right here and they have an image. Then you have their first name. Thank you for contacting us. And basically right here, you can now go and write out how everything works and just write out the template and customize it. Now in the left, you can see the different sections. So you can also click plus and then you can select from library and then you can choose a pre-built section right here, such as the common use ones. So for example, a basic info page. And if you then click add page, it will be added right here. And then you can see that page right here. And then you can just go and customize it as well. Choose the same colors that you use everywhere else and stuff like that. But you just want to go ahead and work out your entire proposal right here. So the terms and conditions, investment, meet this and this, the price, the process, just work this all out. And once you have done that, you can then click on next in the top right, or you can choose to save and exit. So I'll just click next for now. And now here you will get to the document checker. Now here you can first add your custom domain. So you should consider setting up your custom domain so it shows your business URL in the address bar when your client opens the proposal. I do recommend doing that. So click set up your custom domain and then you will need to get to one of their paid plans and you cannot do it in the free trial, but you can also just wait and do it after your free trial has ended. Then you can also use a cover. So right now I don't have one you can see you are 44.2% more likely to win the deal if you have a cover on your proposal. So of course you do want to go and add a cover, which you can do in this page. So for example, I'll just pick that one and then go to the checker again. 
and then the digital signature so i have added a digital signature block now this was already included in the actual page so in the accept proposal section right here you can see that there is a signature right here so people can type the signature or the drawing now if you want to add this yourself then all you need to go and do is just click plus in the left section here and then select either blank or from library for example just do a blank one and then it will be added as an untitled section and now here you can just click on the gear icon and then select content and layout now if it isn't included in the template so the accept proposal section then you just want to click plus select from library and then here you want to add a section where people have the accept proposal now you can also choose to create your own content so your own proposal section but in most templates it should already be added in so a way to actually sign the document so after working out your entire proposal go and click next again then click next after the checker and then in the send section you will see this proposal will come from and then the email address that you signed up with and then you can choose who would you like to send your proposal to so first you can choose the recipients must sign in the order they appear below if you have multiple recipients and then here just enter their first name last name and email address and then they will get an email now here you will see the logo will be in the email then here just write out the email itself so just mention that if they click read your proposal they will then be taken to the proposal they can then click start reading and then they can get to the accept proposal page right here and then they can go to sign it so you want to mention that and then after you're done just going to click send now in the top right although you can also choose the password protected so after adding all of this and clicking on send now it will be sent to your recipient so now in your better proposals home screen you can see your document activity so you have just created this document now if you go to your reports you can also see if it's been signed and you can just generate the report right here in the template section you can add more templates if you want and you can also choose to create your own content blocks and there is a marketplace with templates that you can even buy for example better proposals product proposal template and if you click preview you can actually see what they look like so you can just find the ones that you need and you can also search for a template you can select a quote contract or whatever you need then in the document section you can also see if a specific document has actually been signed and you can see the document progress so this one has not been sent but you can even track if the email has been opened by the recipient so now if you want to create more documents just click new document in the top left and then again you can pick a template start from scratch you can choose your onboarding flow and stuff like that and that way you can set more proposals and e-signatures or contracts and everything else now, by the way, usually Better Proposals offers a 14-day free trial. If you would like to get access to an extended free trial of one full month, then you can sign up through my link down in the description. And that will take you right here. So it says Downy Tutorials, use Better Proposals, and then you can just click Try it for free. Now here it says 14 days. But as you can see right here, they will give you a full month free as a gift. So if you want to claim that, go and click on the link in the description to sign up for free to Better Proposals. If this better proposals tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.